for non-majors, what's the goal in the class? And as far as I'm concerned, there are two goals. To get through the class and not really learn anything because you don't care. Well, that's, that's, that's the student's goal, possibly. <laughs> but the, my goal is that they're going to take the class and not come out of it saying biology is the worst thing that they've ever done in their lives. That's number one. Then they have. What was that? Yeah, experience by it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't know anything, but that's OK, because they're going to remain naive. And the second thing is that they should realize that if they've got a question that is biological, that they can go to Wikipedia and read it and get some sense of what's going on, or scientific, for that matter. Yeah. That, that science is, is, is not the, mo the most horrible thing in the world, and to a degree, it's knowable. It's understandable. So why, are you, why do you like Wikipedia? Why do I like it? Yeah. Because it's convenient. It's always the first result. <laughs> <laughs> all the English professors here hate on it. Yeah, like I remember in high school, they were like, you guys even look at Wikipedia, and that's what you're doing your support. You guys are failing it. So Wikipedia is not perfect, and Wikipedia also has an increasing problem of having too much information. And so when you go to it, even I am like, oh man, this is just blows me away. Um, it isn't necessarily perfect. I mean, it, it potentially has mistakes, but, but I think mostly the mistakes are, are not the, the core of what they're trying to say. I mean, there might be some details or people are wrong or, or somebody thinks it's, I mean, when I look at something on something I really know, I'm often like, well, you know, they don't have it quite right. But often when I'm reading in the published literature, I'll get to you know things where I'm like, well, they don't have it quite right either. So so you know it's not that bad. But on, on the other hand, so I'm trying to put together this website, and and it actually is a good thing for me to have Wikipedia for two reasons. I mean, the question is, why do I like Wikipedia? The first is is that as a as a competitor of sorts to Wikipedia, um, I actually um, there's a benefit to me to put things in in a more simple form, which is a lot easier to do as a single author. Um, than what Wikipedia does. And, and for a lot of people, just the, the, the basic you know, thing that's going on is all they need to know. And the second thing is, is that Wikipedia um, serves as this wonderful backdrop for me, or backstop, where anytime there's a word where I don't have a definition of, I don't have to just leave the person there. I can send them off to other resources. And Wikipedia is a fairly stable resource. I mean, I know pages go away. Um, but but it's, it's, it's a, a resource where Wikipedia is not going to go away. So, so that's why I like Wikipedia. And otherwise, I mean, where else are you going to go if you've got a question? I mean, Wikipedia is a great place to start. Yeah, so on the other hand, if the job that you have been assigned is to learn a subject and then write about it, if you're simply going to online resources and copying and pasting or, or maybe slightly rephrasing, and that's not what you're trying to do in an English class, right? But as far as why science, what was that? Why we're not English That's right. Sorry, we're not English majors. But we, we already had this discussion. I like to write. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is, this is what I do is writing. Yeah, but not in MLA format. <laughs> <laughs> do I detect a note of, of frustration in your voice? Yeah, no, that's exactly right. I, I do not feel in any way constrained by necessarily MLA format or whatever. Right. These things I don't know. No. Yeah. We're scientists. What do we care about English? Just as long as it's, you know, as you're getting your point across right, and it's not atrocious English. <laughs>